with your host, Taylor Patrizzi. Hello, and welcome back to episode two of the Hatters Coaches Show. I'm Taylor Patrizzi. It was an exciting matchup against Sacred Heart this weekend, where the Hatters came this close to starting their season 1-0. We'll get a chance to talk to Roger Hughes about last weekend's game, as well as this weekend's upcoming matchup against Warner. We'll also talk to Nolan Burns, who's the Director of Football Operations here at Stetson. After that, we'll take a look at your tweets in our Twitter Instagram section. And lastly, back by popular demand, it's our Student vs. Athlete section. You won't want to miss it. Okay, we're recapping last week, we uh, we lost a close one to Sacred Heart University. Sacred Heart uh, comes from the uh, Northeast Conference. Uh, it's a scholarship conference, and so we figured that these guys would probably be one of the best teams we play all year, and we weren't disappointed, unfortunately. Um, I thought our guys played toe-to-toe, -to -toe, played very well. We had a great first half. You know, we had a number of guys offensively that were starting their first game, Gavin DiFilippo. Uh, for one, I thought he had a great uh, first half. I think he was like... 14 for 18, throwing the ball, sat in there a couple times when he had pressure and really did a great job of, of running the offense. Cole Mazza had over 50 yards rushing and there were times when our offensive line really dominated the line of scrimmage, which was great. We had some, some big plays by Keegan Moore, passes to Keegan Moore and Donald Parham who had an unbelievable uh, catch on a corner ball in the end zone. But in the second half, we weren't able to run the ball as well. Uh, defensively, I thought we played a really good game with the exception of really one play. We gave up one really long run. We blocked an extra point that had a chance to score and had we not bobbled that uh, that uh, scoop so to speak we would have had a two-point play there uh, and I thought our defense in the second half really held us in the game we, we had some very bad field position we were defending and to our kids' credit we hung in there draw a line in the sand and didn't let them score after the long run and and really the attitude the culture the uh, enthusiasm on the sidelines it, it's just a different team for us right now and that attitude and energy was pretty evident and uh, in other in other seasons I think had we given up that big play at that time our kids may have kind of folded their tents but there was no quit in this team and I think if if we continue to play at that level and that kind of intensity and physicalness. This is probably the most physical game we've played. Uh, you know, we're going to have a chance, I think, in every game, uh, barring any injuries. Thanks, Coach. Now we'll hear from Nolan Burns. I am Nolan Burns. I'm the Director of Football Operations at Stetson University. Um, I've been with the program for just over five years now. And one of the great things about uh, being the director of football operations, when you say your title, nobody has any idea what that means. And so on Saturday, they're not yelling at me if the quarterback doesn't do good or somebody blows a coverage or something along those lines. I, I do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. Um, so with regards to team travel, um, work with our academic um, gals on campus to make sure our guys are getting their study hall hours, um, doing those kinds of things. I'm a recruiting coordinator and, and plan all of our recruiting visits, um, set our unofficial visit dates in the spring, plan our summer camps, manage our budget, uh, those kind of things. So really anything administratively that needs to go on with the program, uh, that's what I do. Uh, so right now with the season going on, travel is a big one for me. Uh, we, we are fortunate to be home for the entire month of September, uh, have our first road game. October 1st, I believe, is the date when we go play Brown. So um, getting, our, getting our flights lined up, uh, hotels, meals, you know, our travel party is usually between 90 and 105. And so uh, making sure that I can get them across the country safely, feed them, uh, house them, and transport them from, you know, the airport to the hotel to the game and, and whatnot is... Uh, a logistical thing for me that actually starts uh, a year out. I'm actually working on 2017 travel right now. So it's a, it's a long process for me to make sure that uh, everything is set up and everything goes smooth once we get there. And uh, fortunately, I'm lucky our athletic training staff and equipment staff do a good job of, of helping me with that, uh, making sure their stuff gets loaded up and is packed accordingly and, and we have enough great student help uh, to make sure that they take care of our guys and, and give them a Division One experience, which is uh, the most important thing. Um, <clears throat> so other than that, you know, my day-to-day -day is, is, like I said, a lot of administrative stuff. There's usually um, some things going on. Uh, with players as far as uh, you know, a class change or a need to get a hold of a professor or um, something goes on every day it seems like that, that, that keeps the thing exciting and, and, and not, uh, not much monotony with it. So uh, anyway, um, it's a pleasure to get on here and visit with you guys a little bit about Stetson football and uh, what my position is as the Director of Football Operations and look forward to hopefully seeing you guys out at the game this Saturday against Warner and go Hatters. Thanks, Nolan. Interesting stuff from football operations. 
We're gonna take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Newsflash, a new leader has emerged in the race for Stetson's season tickets and it's none other than John B, a man of the people. He's voting for the Hatters and stuffing the ballot box at the polls. He's also great with babies. It was a tight race, but it looks like John B is first at the polls and first at the Stetson Hatters season ticket box office where you can get your season tickets today. Jacob Gow versus Davion Bell. Round one. Round two. Final round. Davion Belk, and I just took one for the team. Who's next? Nothing like a little pie in your eye. Let's hear from Coach Roger Hughes for his final words of this segment. Going forward, this week we play um, Warner University. Warner has won their first game. Uh, they're a school from Lake Wales, Florida. They run offensively, they run more of a veer option type uh, setting, which always causes people problems. Anytime a quarterback is very athletic, can run around, can create things, and keep things uh, keep plays extended with his feet, you know, we've got to be very disciplined defensively. One, we've got to understand our option responsibilities. We've got to make sure that we stay in those, don't come out of coverage if the, if the quarterback starts scrambling around. And we've definitely got to get pressure with our front uh, three or four uh, guys, depending on how many guys we're rushing. Offensively, uh, we're going to face a four, another four down front type team that um, is not very exotic when it comes to uh, the scheme that they run, but they're very sound in what they do. They're never out of place. They're never out leveraged. Uh, coverage wise, we see a lot of man to man so they can get extra people down to stop the run, which is a major concern. And then um, uh, they'll also sit back and play cover three and uh, use their, their linebackers and their defensive line to stun around a little bit. Kicking game wise, um, you know, we've got to improve there from last week. You know, we missed a field goal. Uh, we kicked a ball out of bounds on, uh, on a kickoff. Uh, and, and so we've got to do a better job there. I thought Eric Fogel, where, who he's usually still, was a little inconsistent punting the ball last week, so we've got to straighten that out as well. So it's going to be a very exciting game. We're look, certainly uh, we're pleased with how we played. We're not pleased with the mistakes we made. And one of the things we'll be looking to, to clean up this week is nine penalties. And we, we cannot shoot ourselves in the foot. We're a team that has to stay on schedule and try to keep our defense off the field. But uh, 
But we're looking forward to this week. Uh, certainly our guys are excited. We're looking to bounce back. And uh, I think it's going to be a very exciting game with a, with a lot of intensity, a lot of enthusiasm. And, and we're going to look to bring us physicalness that we did last week. So hope we see you there. Awesome show. Thanks again for tuning in. And don't forget to tag us on Twitter and Instagram because we want to hear from you. That's all I have for today. I'm Taylor Patrizzi, and I'll see you next time.